Hi honeybees! Today we are back to filming in my new beauty room. So the setup may change every so often. I'm actually using natural light today and I would really love your opinion on what you think it looks like, if it's good, bad, whatever. I think I might need some extra lighting for the background because it looks a little dim in the back because I'm only using natural light and I do have my overhead light on for the background to be illuminated a little bit. I absolutely love how it turned out but I think I just need a little bit more adjusting back there, so please let me know. So today I am filming a huge Ray Dunn haul, and some of you are gonna be extra excited about this. Some of you may not, because you may not like Ray Dunn, and if that's the case, go ahead and X out of this video, because you will not like it, because I'm just gonna be talking about Ray Dunn and all of the goodies I have purchased in the last month. So don't think that I just purchased these all in one day or even in a week. I have purchased these over time and I haven't been sharing them on my blog so much um, just because I know everyone's not as interested. So I wanted to come on here today and share every single piece with you guys. So I do have some non-Halloween ones, some fall, some regular like everyday things. So I'm going to start off with the everyday stuff. Um, even though I'm super excited about the Halloween. Okay, so first I have two large canisters. I found these both recently at Marshall's, and the first one says, More Please. I don't know, I just think it's so cute, and this is a really good one for when it's not a specific holiday. I like to put canisters out that, you know, just say th something more generic, so we have More Please. And then I have Snack. And if you guys are new to my channel or just hearing about me talk about Ray Dunn, I've only started, I, I guess I do consider myself a collector at this point, I only started collecting Ray Dunn about February, January, no actually I think it was December of last year, December 2018, I started collecting a few pieces here and there, and it has become a little bit of an obsession, I'm not going to lie, but I don't pick up every single thing I see that I don't have. I really try to be pretty selective and think about how I'm going to decorate with them. And I do use a lot of these pieces, um, especially the mugs, bowls, things like that, like um, mixing bowls and all of those, serving bowls. Um, canisters I don't really use that much for anything but decor. So yeah, I just love this one that says snack. So next I have a set of vases and this is the Home Sweet Home. And I can see us having this out all year long in the home. Um, I'm planning on putting some fake flowers in there, probably some tulips for right now, but then like change it out seasonally, the different flowers. This again I found at Marshall's and it was such a really good find. I was actually at the counter and this really nice lady that was checking me out realized that the one piece I had in my hands was Ray Dunn and she said, you know what, I have some stuff in the back here um, that we haven't put back that I know are like desirable Ray Dunn items if you would like to take a look. And she pulled this out and I had never seen this out in the wild, like I had seen it online. Um, I'm also going to let you guys know in this video, I never buy anything off of Mercari or resell. Um, I will sometimes trade people for items or I will go on offer up and if someone's selling it at retail then I will purchase from them but I will never purchase from someone for like three, four, five times the amount of retail. I think that's absolutely ridiculous and it just encourages those kind of people to grab everything off the shelf and sell it um, to each their own but that's just not how I roll at all. Um, anything that you see me haul, it's because I found it at Marshall's Home Goods or TJ Maxx myself, or I've traded it with another fellow like Ray Dunn buddy. So anyways, I was really excited to find the home sweet home. Okay, now on to fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween items for Ray Dunn. So this first one, I mean, you could really use this all year long, but I plan to use this for like my fall and Thanksgiving display and this is the pie dish that says pie. I really wanted to find the one that says pumpkin as well but I think pie might be even better just because I can use it all year long and pumpkins kind of more associated with fall and these are kind of pricey. These pie dishes are $16.99 and I found this one at a home goods and it actually was not my local home goods that I usually find stuff at so they also had one that said slice 
and pie. I also just realized that I left my thankful mug um, in my display area, so I'll make sure to kind of film that so you guys see it. It's not the one with the colored interior, it's just completely white and says thankful in the black long letters. And I love that mug. I'm gonna have it for my fall decor display for Thanksgiving, but I also would totally leave and use that all year long because it's thankful. Thankful is good for all year long. Okay, now we're getting into Halloween. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have some really awesome mugs, but I have not found any long letter canister, black canisters, and those are like my unicorns right now, is to find like Happy Halloween, Haunted, Spooky, um, not so much Boo, because I have a lot of Boo-themed items already, so I'm really trying to find those out in the wild. Not successful yet, but again, this is my first year collecting any Halloween stuff, and it is nuts, nuts in the stores. So the first, one of the first things that I grabbed was this little teeny canister, and it's with some dancing skeletons, and it says Boo. Now, I think this whole collection is so freaking cute. I absolutely love the dancing skeletons, and I have not seen any of the other canisters of this, but I definitely would pick them up if I saw them. So this is like one of the only black canisters I have. Um, I would think about putting like a decal on the back of this one as well, but I actually really like the imagery on the front of this, so I um, plan to put that in my decor. Speaking of skeletons, this one has the little dancing skeletons on the back and then it says lazy bones on the front in white long letters. And this is more of a matte. Some of the canisters and black mugs right now are shiny. Actually, I think this one might be considered shiny. It's one of the newer ones, so yeah. It's super cute. I absolutely love this one. I have three more Halloween themed mugs. The one that I'm really, really on the hunt for is the one that says Vampire in black. It's like a black mug with the orange interior and it says Vampire because if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I'm obsessed with anything vampire related. But this was also super, super exciting to find and um, I actually got this on my birthday and it's the orange boo mug. It's kind of glaring. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is so bright and fun. This is $5.99. I found this one at Marshall's. The other two I just showed you were from both from Home Goods. I found them. Now the writing on the orange mugs looks more like a gray and not a black. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I feel like they should have just made the lettering black so it would pop more. But I do still absolutely love this mug and really excited to have an orange mug. And then I have two different Happy Halloween mugs. The first one I found was at Home Goods, and it's white with orange interior, and it says happy on one side, Halloween on the other, in long letters. And then this one, a, a Ray Dunn friend found it for me, and again it says happy, and then Halloween on the back, but the lettering is orange. Orange interior again, but this is a matte black. And I love this one. I debated on if I was gonna keep both, but I think I will because when I do my display, I'm gonna plan to do like it like this where you can see it say Happy and Halloween. And since they both have orange interior, I think it will go. Plus my hutch is gonna have white pieces and black Halloween pieces, so I think it will work. And then Chris and I can both have like matching mugs, kind of. One white, one black. <laughs> so cute. This guy is kind of random, but I had to show you guys because I do plan to put him in my Halloween hutch with all my Ray Dunn goodies. How cute is he? Are you kidding me? It's a vampire dude, and he has little red fangs. And his um, button eyeballs remind me of Coraline. Have you guys seen that from Tim Burton? I really like that movie, and so, I don't know, that really reminded me of it. And he's so cute, and he has like a beanbag booty, so his little um, feet can dangle off of the shelf, and he's so cute. So I really hope I find the vampire mug so he can hold the vampire mug. <laughs> he's so cute. I also was able to find two candles, the ceramic candles. Um, I really want to find the ones that say like something pumpkin themed on the front or some of the black and orange ones. But so far I have found the more Thanksgiving fall themed ones. First I have Blessed with black long letters and the white ceramic. These were $12.99, which again, is a little pricey, but once you use these, you can repurpose them. And this smells so good. It's just vanilla is the scent for this one. And then I also have Family. 
And this one, oh, this one smells incredible. It's apple cider scented. Yes, I love these. They're so heavy too. This is the last canister I have to share with you guys and I actually got this as a birthday gift. Um, and this is not a long letter canister but I still absolutely love how like chubby this one is. And it has the jack-o'-lantern and it says Happy Halloween on it. I was also gifted this tray for my birthday that says family style and it has a family of mummies and even a mummy dog. How stinking cute is that? Sorry, the lighting got really dark all of a sudden. But, I, or it's a cat, not a dog. <laughs> but it's so cute. I feel like it's like Chris, me, and Gavin. And if it was a dog, it would be even cuter, but I think that's really cute. And then I have this batter pour. Mama B actually found this for me and she found it at Home Goods. It's $19.99 and it says trick or treat on the top and it has the skeletons. One has a witch and, and like witch hat and broom. Then one's like juggling candy corn and one has a jack-o'-lantern on its head. So, so cute. I absolutely love this design. And one more item that I was gifted for my birthday that goes with that same kind of theme. It says trick or treat in the inside here and then it has those little skeleton guys all around the bowl. They are so freaking cute. I love these skeletons. And then I did get one other bowl and I purchased this at Home Goods. And it says Witch's Brew in black long letters. And then it has an orange interior. It's a ceramic. These are so heavy and nice. So I definitely plan to probably, I don't know if I'll stack these, but I'll use them in my display and I'll actually probably use one of these for our Halloween candy too. I have two more black Halloween Ray Dunn items. First is this cake stand and I think I will use this for display. I'm kind of debating if I want to keep this one because I have so many things for my display that say boo and this one says boo on the top. But it is matte black. And it's really nice. I just don't know if I absolutely need to keep that one. And then this one I really, really love. It says Happy Halloween inside. It's a baking dish. And it has the orange lettering. And then I feel like these are the best. Save the best for last, kind of, except for the boo mug. I found two ceramic white pumpkins. These are brand new this year, I believe. And I was so excited to find two and again it was just a lucky situation it was that same lady that showed me the home sweet home she had two of these on the counter in the back they were actually turned this way and I asked her I was like can I see those real quick can you turn them around and when she turned them around they were right done and this one says blessed and then the other one says happy fall y'all which I really haven't seen a lot of people have this one. So I'm really excited to have this one because it's actually my favorite. All right guys, that is it for my Ray Dunn haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you do like videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and tell me down below if you wanna see separate Ray Dunn videos where I'm hauling my goodies, maybe going hunting with you. Um, I, I personally love watching these videos, so that's why I wanted to film one for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed and I will make sure to, um, I've been posting a lot of pictures on Instagram of my Ray Dunn finds and on Insta Story, and I'll be posting like updates to my hutch when I change it over for fall and Halloween. So make sure to follow me there as well and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.